Hello everybody, hi, 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 and happy Friday. Welcome to TKTV. I'm your host, Tracy Knight. I put the TK in TKTV. Um, it's time for that Ozempic update, and I'm gonna try to do this really, really quick, but I did wanna share some stuff with you guys. I know I'm late. I think I have just given up on the whole, let's do it on Tuesday and Wednesday, because for the last month or so, Stuff's just been happening, and it's like, oh, I'm just going to bed. I'm just, oh, you know, it is what it is. But I'm here now, and I'm going to let you know what's been going on in the last week and a half, well, the last, almost a week now since I think it was like Thursday, Friday. Any case, let me tell you what's been going on. Let me catch you up on some things. Um, fast flashback. I've been on this since January of the of this year. Um, so this is like my ninth month, going into my ninth month. Um, I started at 242. I've lost some poundage. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, some of the side effects with the Ozempic, which I am on, by the way, one milligram injections at this point, is nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, fatigue. Those are just the most common ones. Now, if you've been watching the news lately, you know that there are some others that are popping up. And if you want to hear what those, I'm going to tell you what those are anyway, but go ahead like, share, and subscribe at this point. Um, if you really want to know, well, if you really want to know, just stick around. In any case, um, and this in the last week when I when we last spoke, yeah, I was having problem with nausea and the vomity showing up. Okay, well, I gotta say, I gotta say, um, yeah, the yeah, this past week they have shown up. Um, like they own the place, stomping in like big dogs, <laughs> you know, and here I am trying to make some changes in my life. Hence, if you noticed the new glasses, new glasses, I'm still getting used to them because they're progressives because I am a little bit over 50. I mean, I'm closer to 60, but you know, my, I needed some new glasses because the ones I was wearing before was a prescription from another prescription. They weren't, they weren't up to date. They helped me read, but not necessarily see. I see better with these and of course no lines. So I got to get used to the whole, you know, finding the right spot to see what I want to see, but I can see you guys. I can see you guys. So I got my new glasses. I picked them up yesterday. <laughs> Let me tell you something, something really funny. I'm not a lazy person. I am not a lazy person. But let me tell you, when I feel like I ain't got nothing to do and I don't want to do anything all day, I don't want to do anything all day. So I was first going to go get my glasses tomorrow. Okay, no biggie. It's a Saturday. Get up, stretch, have a cup of coffee. Coffee, I like that. And then go get my glasses. It's a Saturday. I have nowhere else to go. But <laughs> if you know me, and if you really know me, you know I don't travel in inclement weather. And rain is inclement weather. Now, if it's a little drizzle, drizzle, miss, miss, you know, it's okay. Especially if it's already started once I'm out and in the car. Yeah, I'll go get it. I'll do it. But when they say, oh, it's going to be a storm, it's going to rain all day. I'm not, no, I'm not doing that. Because I need my glasses, right? So I'm not going to try to be on the road in the rain with no glasses trying to get to the glasses I need to drive in the rain. You got me? So I said, oh, let me get my little handy parts up and go. So I went yesterday because it was my off day, okay? So that's why I got my new glasses. And if you noticed, I am sitting here proudly sporting my new starter locks. They're about a month and a half old. So if you are of the lock nation, you know, you know what, what stage I'm in. And yes, that thinness right there is because I have alopecia. Okay, that might be something I might, you know, do a little update on too, because I'm hoping with the, the, the locking, the getting locks and everything that I don't have to put anything else on my head and keeping my hair natural will help ease that spot up a little bit. But yeah, there it is. I'm there. I'm out there. It is what it is. I still, I still cute though. I still cute. Anyway, so you notice those two new things about me. That's been going on this week. Now, let's get down to the Ozempic part, okay? Now, if you haven't already done so, what am I going to say? <laughs> right? Like, share, and subscribe. Because I like having you guys around, and I love being surrounded by a lot of you. So, share this with your friends. In any case, having told you what the side effects are, and having known that in the last week, maybe two weeks, um, I've been, you know, 
being a little nauseous and the vomiting has shown up. And what I've noticed, because I've been trying, I've been keeping little records of it. I got a little notebook around here somewhere that since I now take my shots on Sunday, right around Tuesday morning is when the nausea says, hey, wait a minute. She already took a shot, right? Oh, okay, let's go. The nausea hits and the vomit is at the door, okay? Now, sometimes I can make it all the way to work. Now, most of the times I've made it all the way to work, okay? Um, before I say, oh, I, I can't I can't do this. I grab a can and I just, you know, <laughs> go for what I know. Um, and I'm like, okay, what, when is this happening? So I started to notice that even though I take my shots like Sunday evenings, Monday I'm okay, slightly, slightly nauseous, but... Throughout the day, it gets, you know, it gets better. But by Tuesday, and I have at least an hour and 15, sometimes an hour and a half commute from my home to where I work in D.C. Because I don't drive in D.C. Don't judge me. Don't come for me. Mm -mm, I don't do that. Um, by the time I get to my office, I don't want to drink my coffee. I don't want to eat my breakfast, whether it's a steak. Uh, not steak. <laughs> a shake or maybe I've splurged on a breakfast sandwich or whatever but I'm not eating it no time soon because I feel like if I do it's a waste of food right and I've been right the last couple of times so this past Tuesday when I got to work I was like okay I feel like I'm gonna be sick I tried I, at least I was going to try the whole drown the diaphragm the you know stomach uh, whatever is going on with a lot of water couple of sips in I'm like mm, you know what I'm wasting time and that's just going to be more that's coming back up. So let's not do this. Grab the can. Do what I had to do. And then afterwards, I felt a little better. You know, I just sat there trying not to move. Didn't want to walk or anything else. But I did have to go to the bathroom, you know, to freshen the mouth and face up and everything. But um, after that, I stayed at my desk. Trying not to move. Tuesday went okay. No more nausea. No more de vomiting. You know, and that troll, right? In any case, she won that battle too. So I've been feeling that, but only after the, like between 24 and 48 hours after I take my shot. So I'm like, okay, I'm keeping, I'm keeping track of that. So when I go to work on Tuesday, I'm taking a big thing of water. I'm a, and I'm going to make sure I take some drama mean uh, gummy chews because I hadn't been using those. Um, make sure I got my tea on hand so I can start sipping that from the moment I get in so that I can just, you know, combat that nausea before it gets to the point where it says, okay, Devami, she weak. She, she can't hold back. Let's go. So I have been doing that. And that's something I'm going to talk to my endocrinologist about. Um, I don't see her on a video chat, mind you. I don't see her until, I want to say, December. No, no. We're in October. Next month sometime. Okay, almost a month from now. So that's on the list. Um, the dreams are back. They're weird. They're weird. But I'm remembering most of them now. Um, and so I've been trying to take notes about them. But they are really, really, really kind of weird. And they leave me either like I, I wake up like I'm still in the middle of it. So whatever it is I'm doing in the middle of that dream, I wake up as if I'm still doing it with if I'm out of breath or I'm exhausted or I'm just mad or happy. Whatever it is that was going on in a dream, when I wake up for the first few seconds, I'm still there. Why do I? But I'm still there. If y'all can explain that one to me. Again, if anybody else have any weird dreams, let me know. If you can remember, let's share stories, okay? Um, The weight thing. Now, when I last weighed, I weighed 225.8, I think it was. I, my thing is over there. But as of Sunday, this past Sunday, when I got on the scale, I got off the scale with 222.4 pounds. I had lost 3.4 pounds. That's what it was because I was 225.8. I'm 222.4. So I've lost 3.4 pounds. Yes, <laughs> I was so excited about that. I mean, when I told y'all, when I stood on that scale, I looked for the one, 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 and then I know, Ugh. or, but then, and it tells me if I've, you know, I've give or take, I haven't lost, but you know, I'm, I'm like right where I was before, or I get what I got this past Sunday. Dun, 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 dun. I'm so excited about that. So, um, and I can honestly say that I know that I ate less, not even purposely. It's just that I didn't have the appetite because along with all this nausea and, and Mr. the vomity showing up, I, the appetite has just not been there. Even, even with my favorite meal of the day, which is dinner, 
Okay, like I told you, I like to cook and I like to eat. So, and I like to eat what I cook. And even if we just, you know, order something out, I'm eating even less what I would have eaten in the first place. So that whole making you feel full faster thing is really, really kicking. If I keep doing this because I'm trying to find a focus point. Um, it's really kicking in. So I haven't really been eating that much. So I've been sticking to my shakes. Uh, got some fruit, got some watermelon, some grapes, some apples. I ate a lot of that the week before Sunday. Okay. And since Sunday, same thing, same thing. Um, and a lot of it is attributed to number one, <laughs> we went to the grocery store so we can refresh the fruit, <laughs> the fruit levels. Um, and I'm usually the only one here. I'm the only one here now. There's no echo. I just thought I'd try that. Um, husband's at work. Daughter's at work. The dog is even in the back room. Okay. So when I cook, I'm cooking a little later, which is probably not a good thing, which means I'm eating later. Um, but I'm not cooking a lot because, you know, and today it's a fish. I'm having some fish. My husband wants a little piece, um, but he may have a little bit of salad later with his and maybe some soup. I'm going to have fish and I'm going to have some fries. Okay. I'm not going to have a lot because I can't have it a lot. And right now I'm not hungry, which is why I don't cook as early as I used to because I'm not hungry. Um, I just finished off some yogurt a little while ago and had some sunflower seeds. So, and what did I have about this? I had a shake, the last shake, which means I have to order some more. Got to get some more shakes. Um, that's what I have for breakfast. Um, no, you know what I had for breakfast? Yesterday was last shake, mm, so I still need to order a shake. Today, I had two slices of buttered toast. That's it. And I was like, okay, I'm good. What did I have for lunch? I didn't. I snacked. I had my sunflower seeds. I grabbed the yogurt. Drank a lot of water today. Um, had a few grapes. And that's it. So I will probably get a little hungrier earlier. So I'm probably going to jump off with you guys and go ahead and do my little dinner thing. Y'all like my hair? Oh, my God. I'm just all over the place. But it took a minute for me to decide to just go ahead and not wig out because I know that Doing the whole lock thing is a whole process, and I keep people keep telling me trust the process, trust the process. But it was a lot shorter, so now we're we're trusting the process. In any case, so I'm gonna probably go ahead and jump off and get something to eat before it gets too late. Because another reason I'm gonna do that because I don't want to wait too late to eat is today I got in the mail. Can y'all see it? A Lavongo HDA1C. Um, because I am a type 2 diabetic, Blue Cross Blue Shield has programs, um, I think it is the Blue Cross Blue Shield, and one of them is Livongo, and they helped me with my blood pressure, so they sent me a whole little blood, blood pressure cuff and thingamabobby. I have the, um, hold on, but if I want to stick my fingers, you see this says Livongo? stick my finger and do my blood uh, glucose levels, which I do to all, you know, to kind of keep up with this thing uh, or when this one hasn't arrived yet and so um, it keeps helps me keep track of what's going on with blood pressure and my diabetes now through Livongo I get this kit for free I got it for free um, so if you're in the blood cross uh, blue cross blue, blue cross blue shield insurance program look into the diabetes program and see if you're eligible to have this Livongo kit sent to you and inside it's got it's got what you need to check your sugars. It's got your needle pusher. Evil little thing. Um, it's got the whole thing full of the little, um, what do you call those things? What do you call these things? Strips. So you can check your, you know, check your blood, right? I'm about to throw this one away. It says my fingers all over it. Like this. Right? You put your little blood down up in there. And once you put, once you do that, you put it in a little machine right here, right? Did it come on? Yeah, it did. You probably can't read it because of the glare. In any case, there you go. And it reads your blood sugar. And it'll tell you if you're in range and things of that nature. And and it'll also send it to your Lavongo website so you can go to the dashboard and keep track of your readings and stuff that way. And when you run out of materials like this, um, they also send you the little pin pricking needles. Let me see. They send it to you like that. You get all that in this, and it's free. And so when I get low or think I'm getting low, I can always request 
supplies and they'll send them to me for free. So they do that with the um, the Vongo glucose kit and they do it with the um, the blood pressure kit. So that you don't you don't need supplies for that. You just got to keep batteries. But um, I have those. So having said all that, I am going to be cooking early because they sent me a a one C kit. Now, you know, because it's asking you, how's your diabetes going? Do you want to check your A1C? We'll send you a kit for free, for free. So um, I'm not going to do it tonight because I've been eating and everything else like that. I'm going to do it when I'm fasting, which I think is probably the best way. Um, it says, let's get chat. Okay. I'm just looking to see what's in here so I can tell you guys. Again, this is through Livongo, and I didn't have to pay for it. It gives you instructions on how to return your sample, collecting your sample. Um, these are instructions are in here. Okay, I know I just got some brand new glasses, but who's supposed to be able to read that? Who's supposed to be able to read that? I would. Okay. Anyway, I'm not, I, anyway, that's in here, um, and it gives you everything you need. Look, I'm not gonna take all of this out, but. Everything you need to do your sample is in the box, even the return bag and everything. I think that's pretty cool that you can you can have a program that will help you keep track of your health. And I think we all need help everywhere we can. And if it's free, it's for me. So I'm going to try to eat earlier than normal today so that my fasting blood sugar will be, um, you know, won't be so high um, in the morning. So I'm going to do that first thing in the morning. And I'll let you guys know what it was next week. Well, when it comes back, because i got to send the sample in. So it came in this nice little box. And I just ordered it the other day. So it came really, really quick. Oh, and there's an envelope. It says, prioritizing your health is just got a lot easier. Yes, this is through Blue Cross Blue Shield. So check Blue Cross Blue Shield if you have that insurance. Just check the diabetes program. If you're not already on it, uh, do a search through Blue Cross Blue Shield. Say Livongo. See if you're eligible uh, for the programs that they may have. Um, they have, I know they have mental health, they have diabetes, they have the blood sugars, and they probably have a whole lot more that are out there that I may or may not be eligible for. I just didn't look past the ones I use. Y'all know. Okay. So. I told you what my weight is. Um, this week, again, I, I got six uh, Tuesday at work. It's too much. It's too much. Uh, but today I woke up. I was fine. I, I, if I got to be honest, I felt a little nauseous, but it, it didn't last long. And when I say a little nauseous, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the vomit is at the door or out there laughing at me because she's already been and gone, and 1 being, uh, I don't think so. Mm-mm. Just get me some water and let me sit down for a few minutes. Let the body do its thing. I want to say I'm at a two in the mornings. I want to say I'm at a two in the morning, okay? Um, and then once I get started with my day, especially if it's an active day where I'm doing a lot of walking around, doing, you know, uh, uh, stuff up and down, then it's only a two. Um, but that second day after the injection, it's seven, eight, and sometimes it reached that the vomity stage. So... I don't know. Again, I'm going to tell my endocrinologist, hopefully the results from this A1C will have come back before I'm supposed to, you know, virtually meet with her. She is a new endo. My old one, he left. I guess they were in rotation. He just left me. But I take solace in the fact that he didn't just leave me. He left all the other patients that weren't to him as well. So it's not just me. It's not all about me. Anyway, um, I should have those results back so that I can give that to her. Um... And just to see how things go. How do I feel generally, overall, despite the vomiting in nausea? I feel fine. My legs um, feel better. I'm Like I said, I'm losing the weight. My husband's like, he's my biggest saboteur. He wants me healthy. healthy. Don't, don't, let's not get that twisted. He wants me healthy. But, uh, he, I guess he like them thick. Okay? So, it's like... I expect some cereal to come in here in the next couple of days because that's how he roll. Well, he know I love my cereal, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, hold on to that willpower and discipline and not eat it. Or, or hopefully he just won't buy it, okay? Because I don't buy it. Um, but I feel good. I there was something I was supposed to do yesterday, being Thursday. I was supposed to go see an orthopedic doctor for a consultation, 
And I ain't go. I, mm -mm. It was my off day, y'all. I was like, I, mm -mm. I make these appointments on my off day so that I can get up. But I either I got to stop doing them for the first thing in the mornings or not doing them on my off day. Just doing them on day. I got to get them to go to work anyway. But see, the thing is, since I don't drive into work, I'd have to drive to go to the doctor, come back, go to the metro, then do all that to get to work. And it takes away most of my day. So I don't know. Maybe if I could do it on a day that I telework. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, or maybe I should just do them in the afternoons. But I didn't go. But then I thought about it because I've been thinking about it. I noticed a lot of things that's going on with myself and my body and my, and my weight, my mind, all of that um, before I talk to you guys. I do have arthritis in my knees. I did tell you I was closer to 60, okay? My mind might be 25, 30, but my body is like, girl, if I had to tell you one more time, <laughs> your real age. Okay, so I, I, you know, have noticed that my knees, they still hurt. But before the cruise, oh, my God, they were, they were, oh, they were extremely painful. Sitting down for five minutes was just a no-no. Um, and walking for more than five minutes was just unheard of. But lately, I've been going up and down my stairs, like, not that one step, one step, one step. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just going one, two, three, four, five. I just go down now and I come up just as quick. So I'm noticing. And I remember that the doctor who prescribed me with the, um, or not prescribed, diagnosed me with the arthritis said that it was mostly brought on because of my weight. And as I lose weight, I'll notice more flexibility and less pain. Now, I know you can't, I don't think you can reverse arthritis. Mr. Arthur, but I feel less pain. And with every pound or poundage that I lose, I'm noticing more flexibility, less pain, um, and more movement in my knees. So preferably as I keep losing weight, then I won't have to worry as much about the arthritis. And I was going to go to see the orthopedic doctor to see if I was, you know, a candidate for knee replacement. I ain't begging for that. I ain't claiming that. Okay, I'm just trying to be prepared for that. But if I don't have to have it, we'll see. We'll see how things go in the next month or so because I am determined to lose more weight. And we'll see. If I hit my next milestone, I really will be paying attention to what's going on with my knees. Because if it's just a matter of losing the weight, getting the weight off my knees, y'all, y'all. Okay. Now, what I've seen in the news really quick before I leave, and if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Now, y'all know that they've been talking about um, Wagovi and uh, Moonjaro, and I don't know why they're picking on Wagovi, okay? Well, not Wagovi. Yeah, not Wagovi. Um, Ozempic. <laughs> um, about being a weight loss drug. Ozempic was never a weight loss drug. Wigovi is a weight loss drug. Munjaro, uh, Ozempic, not weight loss drugs. They are for type 2 diabetics to lower your A1C and your blood glucose levels. I've said that almost every video, right? Well, now in the news, people, I think it's the naysayers who just want to get it for, you know, weight loss. Um, and, 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 and are in a hurry for that to happen. I see it happening. I see it, be, I see it happening. Um, that they're going to say, oh, and you know what? They'll prescribe Ozempic for weight loss as well. But in the meantime, in between time, since the people who really just want it for weight loss only are not really being able to get it as easy as they were before, I think they're fussing. Now, and I'm not saying that anything that they're feeling or anything that they're going through or anything that they're experiencing is not real and true and or painful. I'm just saying it just, I don't know, it's a little sus, -sus to me. But... You're hearing about the stomach paralysis, the gastro something, something with your, the, I always forget that word. Um, the pancreatitis, all this. Thing. But y'all know I found out, oh, something been around for a minute. It didn't just happen because I just noticed it. Well, I know it didn't happen because I just noticed it. But I didn't know that it had been around for as long as it has been. It's been around for a few years, okay? So where are all these problems well these problems were there but nobody really it was rare number one and um 
Ozempic wasn't really the star at this point, but now that she is, everybody's complaining about the stomach paralysis, gastro, pancreatitis, all that kind of stuff. And um, I've noticed that. But what they have been stressing in a lot of the documents that I've read, some of the document, um, I think if you look it up on YouTube, you'll see some doctors talking about it. Um, I think what they're saying mostly is that for people like myself, and you guys who are type 2 diabetics, right, and are using Ozempic to help the A1C and the glucose levels and being happy about the benefits of being able to lose weight, if you are, because it's not a guarantee that you will. Side note, it is not a guarantee that you will lose weight on Ozempic. It might be one of the benefits, but it's not guaranteed, okay? It's for your A1C and your glucose levels. Um, but for those of us who are taking Ozempic for that, for those issues, are not are not um, being bothered so much with the paralysis, gastro, pancreo, at least, at least they're not studying it right now. They're studying it in the ones who are non-diabetic, non-diabetic users, okay? Those of, of us, I say us because I'm sure I'm, I'm not one, I'm not one, but I, I, I'm sure, which one, which one? In any case, those who are using um, Ozempic for weight loss and weight loss alone are experiencing these rare and very painful and very critical side effects okay now i don't know if they're doing this to get ozempic taken off the market completely because that would be a bad thing for those of us who are using it for the right reasons um and i say right reasons in the way that for me the right reason is my a1c and my glucose levels okay i'm not judging anybody if this is what you want to do and you want to take it for weight loss and weight loss alone God bless you. But you got to know that now there are issues for those who are non-diabetic and are using Ozempic. I hate to see that happen. Um, the prices are going up. It's getting harder to get through your insurance. I mean, like I said, whoo, it's like, it's almost like playing a game of shoots and ladders. You know, when you're going up, you're going up, you think you're good. Ooh, hit there, you shoot up, you go. No, and then you hit boop, boom. Dead. Yeah, some people are donut hole in the donut hole. I think that's what they're calling it. Or now the insurance is not covering the next level. Um, so f most people are forced to maintain at the level they are if they're going to get that prescription. And even still, that prescription price may have gone up. So there are a lot of problems going on as far as getting Munjaro and Ozempic um, for type 2 diabetics um, going forward. You know, the doctors have learned their lesson and now they are dotting all the I's, crossing all the T's, putting the commas where they should, and putting a period at the end. It is what it is. So I'm hoping that if you are on your um, Munjara or your Ozempic, that you're able to get your prescription, especially if you are a type 2 diabetic and you're using it for the purposes that it was meant to be prescribed. Did I say that right? Did I say that? I think I did. So um, I think that's all I got. Now, Sunday, I'm taking another shot. I'm... I don't know. With the with the forty eight hour thing, I'm thinking, should I take it early Sunday morning? But then that means before I leave my house, I might be sick, which means I might not be able to leave my house, which means I might miss work. Um I'm not really trying to do that at this moment. So maybe I'll stick with it in the evening. So by the time I don't know, I'll have to figure it out. But I'll let you guys know what I figure out. And again, I'll let you know how this goes. Um, again, this is with Livongo through Blue Cross Blue Cross. What in the hello is going on? Blue Cross Blue Shield program, Livongo. Do a search. See if you can find it under diabetic programs. They also have a blood pressure uh, kit that they've sent for you, to you for free um, that you could use for that. They'll send you the um, glucose monitor that has the, the, the strips. It has the little pin pricking needles. Um, it even comes with a little cleaner. Everything you need is in this little pack, and they send it to you free. They send you free refills to, refills to you for free. Am I sleepy? Is my? I don't know. Um, all I know is that I'm trying to get this information out to you guys as soon as possible, so I can go in there and cook, so that I can go ahead and not be so close to waking up when it's time for me to do my blood check in the morning because I want to have a good eight hours of fasting time before I do that. So, in the meantime, in between time, until I see you guys again, y'all don't laugh too much about I'm looking at this hair and God knows. Jesus. It is what it is, but you know what? Because it's going to get longer and it's going to be right where I want it to be by the time I get ready to go for my next cruise. And if not, 
y'all know I will wig it. So y'all enjoy your weekend. It's going to be a little wet where I am tomorrow, but if you guys are in the area, stay dry. If not, enjoy this fall weather, and I will see you next time right here on TKTV. I love you guys. Bye.